Hello everybody, Oma Slickem here and this is a review on the tier 4 battleship of the US Navy, the Wyoming. And let's dive into the specifications. The combat capability is 41,500 hit points of course. And you have a main battery firing range of 12.8 kilometers. You are packed with 6 times to 305 millimeter guns and you also have a secondary armament of 21 127 millimeter guns that has a range of three and a half kilometers for those to those close quarter fights the maximum speed is 21 knots and you will get there in 43 seconds flat out the turning circle radius is 490 meters and the biggest downsize of the ship is 23.2 seconds of rudder shift time. So keep in mind when you are turning between little islands that you have to release your turning uh, to the side uh, uh, a lot in advance before you have to go straight on. Hopefully that is clear from my mouth. The SDR is 14 kilometers and the ADR is 9.7 kilometers. The reload speed on the main battery is 30 seconds. Okay, what kind of upgrades do we have on the Wyoming? First of all, of course, we have the hull. It adds a whopping 2300 hit points to your ship and adds 28 anti-aircraft mounts to your ship. It diminishes the secondary gun turrets by 15, so this is the hull that you want if you are um, in the neighborhood of defending, uh, for instance, an aircraft carrier, or you're going through the middle of the of the battlefield and want to take out those pesky planes. Let's mount that one. Okay, then of course there is an sorry gunfire control system upgrade that. Act gives you an extra 1.3 kilometers to your range in total 14.1 kilometers okay so that is it that's all we can upgrade um, I have some other modifications mounted I got the main battery modification one mounted that gives you um, less vulnerability against attacks and a main battery repair time if they are damaged and of course the propulsion modification so I don't drop in the water. I have less chance to drop that in the water. So that's it. It's a good looking ship. It's uh, of course not fast like every other battleships. The turrets take a lot of time to turn towards your enemy. And the turning of the ship is well, a little bit better than the South Carolina. That's be the expected. But it still isn't a head turner if you're doing maneuverability actions. Okay, so let's see how it fares on the battlefield. So here we are on the battlefield and as you can see the battle is already started. There is uh, Faragut coming into my side. Hopefully. Yep, there it is. He's turning and he dropped Fox, so I can't see him anymore. But let's try to get some shells on him. And hopefully he doesn't dodge them. Oh, I have lag as you can see because he's copping, he's keeping popping out, out of the smoke. Meanwhile, I am under siege. By what? A Fuso. He has a better range than I have. But just let's continue. This speed, the top speed is, like I said, over 20, 21 knots. And the reloading time is a little bit better than the New Yorker, which I will do next in on review. So, still nothing in range. I'm in range of them. Let's keep them guessing and change course a little. There is one within my range and it is a Furutaka. Let's see if we can hit him from afar. They are looking good, they are looking good. Only one hit. The spread of course is ridiculous just like on all the battleships. But if you can live with that. It's not that bad. 
He has 29,000 hit points. They got me. I have absolutely no protection. And everyone is coming to me. Let's hit the repair button. Why did everyone leave me? I'm such an old guy. I would like to think. So this is not going to work. And for the sake of this video, I just keep continue on shooting because I'm already too late. And all my teammates have run away. Let's see if I can dodge some ammo. And this is probably my last self that I can give. 10,000 hits on him. We were in a group of five and now because I was not paying attention I am alone and I am dead but I did a reasonable amount of damage and this is um, a good example if uh, your teammates abandon you and you get getting alone even in a battleship that is impossible okay so I hope this helps um, uh, you out when you are making decisions on what warship to get next it's a pretty good ship it packs a punch of damage to the enemy um, it is not very fast the turning speed is pretty okay but the water shift time is very very lousy sorry for that almost click signing off see you at the seas and of course happy hunting